it's just good to be back because a lot of us didn't know if we'd ever be back. And we took quite the hiatus of three, four years of a, you know, no TV time. So it's cool to see the sport come back and kind of get back to where we left off. I've heard that Kingsport gets rowdy. You know, the fans, uh, they show out, they make sure that they're loud. When they give off that type of energy, it makes it so much more fun for the hitters. Couldn't be more excited to come out here and hit bombs and have a good time. I can't wait to be back on the tee box. Adrenaline is pumping. Let's do it, baby. First time in four years, World Long Drive is back in Kingsport, Tennessee. And as you heard, players fired up to be back here once again. Filling the seats, a little warm out there. That's this okay, Art. That's all right. It's golf full throttle, Shane. I mean, a look at the quarterfinal matchups. You see some big names, some big boys involved, and we expect to see some massive, massive hits as we get closer to the semifinals and, of course, the finals. Art, this is so fun to watch. Get a chance to see some of the best in the world at their craft. Three of the top five in the world making it to the quarterfinals and some big names involved. Absolutely. Martin Borgmeyer has put on a clinic. Kyle Berkshire back from the injury. Golf balls are going to go faster than F1 cars, Shane. So fasten your seat belts. You're about to see some heat. Even with the soft grid, we expect to see some balls get close to and surpass 400 yards as we take a look at the world rankings here on the men's side. And again, familiar names, familiar faces, big old guys. And Berkshire wants that number one back. And if he wins this event right here, he will get the number one back. Justin James has been knocked out. Josh Koch is in here. Zach Holton is in there. So again, we are stacked and ready to go. Quarterfinals underway. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jack sends one down the left side. Right like 220 right out of the gate. Just OB left. OB left. 25 years Here we go. old. Make some noise for Jack, everybody. Keep Jack, going. a favorite to win Rookie of the Year this year. He's only competed in three events, and he's had three wonderful finishes, so he's definitely making a mark. He will have the most quietest golf swing to start. Basically, the feet are really stable. He's got great balance. He's got wonderful technique right here. And right now, we're just giving you kind of three parameters. We're seeing ball speed. We're seeing club speed right here. And, um, you know, the delivery is really key. Again, I like this golf swing right here. Wonderful lines. Hart's been battling. He's been battling a bit of a thumb injury. Yes. That wasn't his best oh, right there. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to see that spin oh, rate as well, a little over the top. So those OB left. three OB got left. quick three right OB. there, and he'll walk for off Jack. and let he'll Will Hoag step up right and here. And now ready for the first three from the fire chief, Will Hoag. The grid is clear. Fire away. Fan favorite, Will Hoag, Memphis, Tennessee resident. And he is the fire chief, and he is the fireman. I'm telling you, 10 years ago in this sport, he was a force to reckon with. He's at 37 years old, hasn't really competed very much, um, predominantly a left or right player. Just a drop fade is his shot. You will not see a draw shot out of, out of Will. Very tall at address, and there's that shot. Just drops to the right, and he says bye-bye. 207. right at 370. 370, 370 for Will. And he's got 214, 15 in the tank. He's got eight more miles an hour. I think he's got 15 more yards. He went 390 to be the number one seed here. So he's no stranger. Good shot and a little too much cut. That's gonna be OB right, but 370 Hogue is on the board. Three more balls for each of these guys. The number to catch, 370. Is clear. The paramedic Smith. and firefighter Fire from away. Germantown. And most of these players are using anywhere from three, four degrees aloft up max to about six, so less than about your putter. Well, those at home, oh, well, 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 well,
launching the ball this high with a three degree driver. That's why the balls are teed so high. Of course, people at home playing an eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten degree driver. That's getting more popular to go higher than home arc. And that is a big one, 389. I hit that little draw. Huge shot. I lo love this golf swing. I mean, love this golf swing. Look at these golf balls, the starting lines. Pure. Like that one might stay out right. He's up. His final ball. It is OB right. So 389. Looking for 390 or above. To up that total. Give it up for Jack, everybody. Come on. This is uphill, soft grid. I mean, on a golf hole. This is not a runway right here. Trying to hang in there. Very similar I mean, he had six quality golf over. shots right there. You, so I mean, one found the grid, six quality not. shots. So nothing, right nothing way off one. He's got to be happy everybody. with that start. So 389 is the number to catch. You said it, Art. No He's got that inside of him. He does hit that number. So he was 207, hits at 370. The math says need 215. Or I need something really firm to hit the fairway with. But we got to see 215. And there it is, 215. Okay. Wow. This is a good shot if he can get a bounce. There's 370, there's a hill in there. Let's see if he can get a bounce and a roll. First bounce, it's still going. What do we got? Not quite enough. 379. Inching closer, 379. Right. So at 215, again, with that cut versus the draw, again, there's some moguls out there. That's 215's a big ball right there. So he matched his ball speed. That was a glance at 205, a little in the heel. He's swinging good at it. As he tees up ball number six, it is OB right. Here we go. If you're rooting for the five seats, let him hear it right now. Will down to his last swing. Going to have to reach 390 with this one. Oh, it's a flush pull. But that's going to be out, out left. Great win right there by Jack Smith to take over the number one seed for a hold. Jack Smith going to move on to the semifinals. The 25-year-old, as Art mentioned, just his fourth start this season. So a bit of an upset. 25-year-old moves on. Jack Smith, impressive move at 389 to get into the semifinals. We'll have his hands and work cut out for him. So whoever moves on in that 4-5 matchup. Well, World Long Drive Kingsport is brought to you by Ballot Health and by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Next quarterfinal matchup, world number one involved. Fort Meyer can move it. Watch this action right here. Also, prepare yourselves for the shorts he's been wearing. The oh, outfits sure. are there. Look, he's changed about five times. But he's honestly been putting the clinic on right, since day this one right here. This match right here with Colton and Martin. The Between the two of them at Fire one time, away. they won 13 sets in a row. So, I mean, this is a battle of some heat right here. Watch this action, folks, if you've never seen Martin hit it. He's recorded ball All speeds one, OB, right? close to 240 oh, miles an hour. So, two. can you put that in context for people to watch Winter professional golf to on a weekly basis? Smith. Well, that ball speed on tour, the average is 172. The top we saw this year would be like 191. I mean, he went up he's he's touching now, 240. He, he is going to 240. So let's see if he can take the club speed up here to 155 or more. 147. Looks a little out of sync right here. Now one's OB left. Martin tees up ball number three. Looking to split the difference. Get one on the board. He needs to use the crowd. He's got this little routine. Watch him tap the shoulder with the club if they show it right here. Kind of taps it. See if he does it right here. Gives him his little thing right here. There it is. Boom, boom. Get ready. Twirl it. You like that action, Shane? I mean, I when you were at the U.S. Amateur, you should have done that on the first tee at I Cherry Hills. More. I needed you more. You needed some of Martin that. Martin in me. Let's go. Yeah. 224, yeah. 156 on club. Get a bounce. Come on, I mean that grid. I wish if that grid was if that was a PGA Tour grid, that's four bills. 
But important art to put something on the board with that third swing. Look at the reaction from Martin. Yeah, so I was watching the streaming here with Colton, and at one time, as Bobby Bradley said, he does the streaming, he won eight sets in a row. So a great golf swing right here. Wonderful fundamentals. It is. It's in there. Three, eight, zero. Close. Oof. Real close. The back swing of the 27 year old. Yeah, that Point club's down by the left knee. Yeah, it looks like grip on, on the finish, you know? Right. And when this, this sport feels more home run derby than it does what you're going to see in terms of an 18 hole golf tournament. Absolutely, and in home run derby, it's the most home runs. This one's just the biggest home run. Oh, wow. Big shot, 209 though. He must have missed it. Imagine that. Do you see the spin on that? Under 2,000. It looks like he loved it. It's going to be in the grid, but what's the distance going to be? 374, 374. So 380, the biggest ball for Castle. 382, Bortmeier in the lead. And ready for his next three balls. Here we go. The grid is clear. Bortmeier, fire away. See if he can build on that number. I mean, he started long drive just in 2017, and then you had the COVID so era break. So, I mean, and then all of a sudden, he, he won a world championship, and now all of a sudden, number one in the world. He has really improved the way he performs on this on this grid, on these on, on these platforms. No stranger. And Art, he's so good for the sport. I mean, such a positive person around long drive. I mean, you'll hear him root on the guys he's playing against. Yeah, and hosted a wonderful event in Germany. Is really at the top of his game. Oh, just started a hair left. 219, 158. We're approaching 160 in club one speed. More ball, one more Could you pull that outfit off, Shane? <laughs> no. You got to have the legs like this guy. Unbelievable. You so hear a lot of golfers get compared to other athletes. This guy actually looks like another athlete. Yeah, he, yeah, he does. So close. That's going to miss left. That is going to finish OB left. Martin Ford, my 382. So now Martin will just hang around and watch, see if Colton can catch 382. Caps on the grid is clear. Fire away. This guy is a commercial fisherman in Alaska in the off season. Two balls. Looking for 380. Wonder how far he can away. cast. A fishing rod. Like, it's a hundred yards or what? I like his demeanor. I think he's. I think this matches his personality. Staying really quiet, really focused. If he can just be a little slower at the top and start it down that right side, I think he might have it in him. Ooh, underneath it. And down to ball number six. And it's less than 382. Fortifiers in the semi. But Castle has the distance for the final ball. Kingsport, put your hands together. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Mm. And it will be Martin Fortmeyer by two yards. Fortmeyer will move on. Number one ranked hitter in the world. 382, the mark. Look at a round of applause for Colton Castro, everybody. So it'll be Smith and Borkmeyer facing off. That should be a good match art. right there, huh? I mean, there's no bad matches here. They can all bring it. Everybody here can hold this trophy for sure. Seb, the 22-year-old from Sydney, Australia, Actually broke a driver in the last round. Head just flew off and watch this move. It is unique and it is powerful. Did not catch that one at all. I mean, the club speed's there. He just whiffed it. 195. Bringing that one right back to the middle. For 
first ball on the board at he just three, whipped four, one. Nine, nine, nine. Nine. He left 30 miles an hour of ball speed on the table or more. <laughs> Art, how much are you looking at those numbers versus actually watching what he's doing with the golf ball? Well, I'm watching this golf swing right here because that that kind of double clutch move right here. I've never honestly seen anything like it. Um, it's incredible the right, amount ball, of arc three, that he three, can three, create nine, at six foot seven. Um, right, how flexible he is. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking at he looks pretty lathered up right here. He must have hit a lot of practice balls. And a lot of the young players that come in the sport over hit on the range. So we'll see if that affects him. You know, it's such a unique move. Yeah. Borgmeier actually tried to do it on a social media post and broke his driver in three pieces. I don't know how you can find the face doing this, really. Uh, it's, right, so it's, it's crazy because he's had club speeds over 165 doing it. But again, he looks a little gassed right here. He Again, these guys overhit on that driving range, I think, a little bit too much. They've had a long time. So watch this move right here. Watch the footwork here, folks. These are the two mo most unique swings we'll have in this quarter five. Yeah, I think this was all started by Kyle Berkshire, kind of getting the rocking motion back and forth. And up? Zach's taking it to a whole nother level right here. But he's perfect is what he practices all the time right here. And it's just getting motion going. You can't start dead still. Art, this is a guy that earlier this season had one of the best sets in finals world long drive history. Hit five balls in play all over 460 in Colorado, one 468 to hold off Borgmeyer. I mean, that's, that's a mile and a half of five golf balls right there, Shane. Good nugget right there, 380. Oh. It's going to be close. That Bridgestone E9 long drive ball right there might be just, I mean, over-compressed. So Seb's got to catch 380. Yeah, he hasn't even come close to the face Here yet. I, go, I, I think he just got to just hopefully while Chris, Zach was hitting, fire, he was kind of breathing away. and visualizing. But let's see if he can make good contact. Oh. Closer. Oh. When Ryan Reesek says, oh, that's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Here we go. What's that number? What's that number Send down right middle? 386. There we go. Down the face. And a sigh of relief right there. Art, could you hit the ball oh, left, doing that? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> no. uh, I, I go, that somebody left. calls 911. I'm on a stretcher, and I'm not, I'm not playing for like four three months. Ball. Separated shoulder, oh. meniscus, ACL. Who knows what would happen if you tried to do what Seb's doing? Because that, I mean, he's coming down hard on this pre-shot right here. He's And then he just reels back and does it again. So watch this. Down, and then boom. Just barely got it off under the buzzer. Bounce it. Oh, it bounced out. OB right. But okay. Keep it up for set. So Holt has got to catch 386. 386 in that big high ball. And you can kind of see Here we go. So they're all so evenly matched. Smith was 389. Borgmeyer 382. 386 for Seb right here and 80 for, for Zach. Close. The pulls now feel so good, right don't they? Left left. Except when we're trying to hit a green. No green to be hit, just right. a grid 53 yards wide. Skinnier than that with the angle of the edges. Oh. 219, 147 with enough spin to keep it in the air. 
Look at this ball's rolling three yards. I mean, three, four yards. Three, eight, three. Shot. He flew it, I thought, right on the 80 line. So last you get swing, yeah. Bolton. Would you get out there with a little catcher's mitt and try to catch that at 380? No. I'm good. Oh. Boy, I want to finish. Let me hear it for Zach and Seb. It'll be Seb Twaddell. Twaddell's going to move on. Yeah, he went by three yards. And again, Boy, they're all within battle. 380 Zach to 89 Holden. right there. Zach Holden. Out of One quarter final matchup left to go. You're going to get to watch one of the most famous faces in long drive, Kyle Berkshire, coming your way. Last of the quarterfinal matchups, and a big one here, Art. Yeah, Kyle Berkshire. I mean, if anybody's going to hit it 400 today, probably Kyle will. Big sigh of relief getting into these quarterfinals. Clear, fire away. He came through in his fourth ball after hitting his first three OB in that final match play in the round of 16. So here's Sam. He hits a left to right shot. He's going to overswing here against Kyle. If he could stay in his element, hit his ball, get that ball speed to about 218, 19. He hits a lower ball, might be able to use the ground. But this is what happens when you face somebody so fast, you overswing. Didn't get numbers there, so I don't know what this is. There's that low flight, but it just checked up. 363, ball three, come on. Oof. So 363 on the board. So you see how he's overswinging a little. Again, when you face Kyle Berkshire, you got to. You're just going to have to take six cuts and hope you catch one. For Kyle Berkshire, the grid is clear. Fire away, Kyle. So for this speed, which will be over 160 when he gets going, watch the balance. Here's the rock, and watch the balance. No be left on ball number one, Kyle Berkshire. doesn't need to hit it 400. That's the key here. He kind of just can get in that 80 range and, and, and really make Sam press. He's only out there 363, and he knows he should be watching that. He's over swinging. Um, that one out of bounds right. And Kyle learned that early on before he won his world championships. He lost a couple matches this way, and uh, he, should, he, he, knows, he knows how to win. He has held a lot of trophies. But he doesn't need 400 to beat Sam. He's seeing what's going on here. Go on, Sam! Let's hear it for Sam. Come on. Just overswung. That's just all to do it. So Kyle's going to have to get one in the grid. I mean, 350 is still trailing. And that's the hardest part because Kyle's a 390 player kind of thing. So can he just hit it solid and good rather than going crazy? Um, does he have a different club out there? Does he have a different strategy? Does he practice this for match play? 
versus those five set qualifiers. Oh, he's got to play golf. And he just flew it right past him. 222 balls. Yeah, yeah. He didn't have to get down on his knees here. That's a winner. That's gone. There you go. That is in yeah. there past 380. That's going to be it, everybody. Kyle Burchard. Great three, shot. That was eight, exactly three. what he has to do. Ball four has kind of been the lucky ball for him. Give it up for Sam Duda, everybody. So moving on to the semifinals, a lot of expected names there, Art. Should be very, very exciting. Berkshire versus the Aussie. And all the numbers are at 380s. They're all evenly matched. Back in Kingsport, World Long Drive Tour moving on as we get to the semifinals. The rookie, Jack Smith, gets to face off with Martin Forgmeyer. Smith's going to be first to go. I am so impressed with this golf swing right here. I mean, this is just tight. It is really, really in sync. Oh, wow. 401. What a golf swing. Again, this is science versus violence right here, Shane. I mean, this is pure scientific. I love his delivery. His numbers are impeccable as far as delivery goes. Art, that's out of the gate, 401. Yeah, that and that sets the tone right there to everybody. He had the longest ball in the, you know, quarterfinals. And he has given med school a break. He took two years off to do this. He was ready to go to med school and said, now I'm going to try long drive. And now look what we got right here. He's facing number one in the world. You think he's going to be invited on a lot of scramble teams? Yeah, you think? Also, I think hey, Jack, love this golf. hit drives for us. 220. But I don't think it's going to be 401. It is out of bounds right. So 401. Give it it's up be a tough one to catch, even for someone as talented as Borgmeier. Yeah, Borgmeier's put up, again, ball speeds close to 240. I mean, but again, hitting these for ball speed records versus on the grid when it matters is a little bit different. So let's just see what he can do. I think the first two shots are critical. <laughs> and critical it is. Oh, so close. 398. 98. Go, go fix the pitch mark out there. I mean, that ball could not do anything. All right, he knows he's got it close to that. Sure. Again, Jack was down that side. You get a little, little bit more action down the sides. The stinger. That might have gotten his head a little bit right there because I think he had it right there. And his speeds were better. He just didn't get any any bounce in a roller release. So he's looking for 401 plus. Just switch drivers. Miss hit it high in the face. The club speed right, was there, so just didn't combine it with the, the ball speed. Three balls by these two guys. Four, oh, one is on top. Jack, going to get after it again. The grid is clear. Fire away. So, Art, Jack can swing away now. I mean, he, he, all well, he I, can do is try to hit his hardest ball possible. I don't see him doing that, though, but you're okay. right. But I just see his technique so sound, so quiet, so balanced. He just does his game. 224. Two that smoked. Look at the carry right there up in the Landed 80s. In it it's going to get past four. Yes, it is. That's oh four. Goodness. Wow. Jack Smith putting on a show. <laughs> and I don't see he's swinging very hard. It's hard, in a sense, to where he's going, where he's losing his balance. You might be watching one of the best techniques out there. How straight is he He's hitting it? Good, he? Even the misses. But 403, still the big one, and he's got one to go. One more ball. If I'm not mistaken, that 403 is the biggest drive of the entire tournament as well. That's correct. Two of the biggest in this semifinal matchup. Point two of 400 balls. 
Bill Myers is going to have three swings to try to catch 403. What a performance by the 25 year old. He can walk away from this tournament going, it doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter who hits it, if he gets caught or not. You've got to love that. Fort Myers is going to have to hit one of his best. Gonna do it. Not enough. Two more balls. 375. Okay, left side. Hang on. I think it's gonna be OB left. It is. It's OB left, which means one. World number one. Four. And swing ball. left. It's got to be near Nine, perfect. Four, oh, three plus. What do you think he's thinking right there, going? I might have a chance to beat the number one player in the world. I'm a rookie. I just hit it 403. And I just. And it is 403 for Jack Jack Smith with the upset. In Kingsport, two over 400 yards on a soft grid. And I mean, it looks like his heart is not and racing Jack at all. Is going back to the finals again. And this time. Last seed into the quarters, all the way to the finals. Jack Smith, the 25 year old rookie with a big upset. And we got a great semifinal matchup to see who joins him after the break. World Long Drive King Sport is brought to you by Eastman Driving Change and by Tennessee. Visit tnvacations.com. One more semifinal matchup to go. Big boys, big hitters. It should be exciting. And who gets to punch their ticket to face Mr. Smith, Mr. 403? Art, you were just saying. The move from Smith is as simple as you'll find. It's the quietest, best move I've ever seen in long drive. I mean, it's amazing. What a compliment. A little different than this move. Yeah, a little different than uh, this move. Seb, fire away. What else? Got a different action, and it was effective in the quarters. OB as Sam sees up ball number two. Already a champion this year is Seb. Put a ball 417 to claim that title. So whoever you're rooting for, put those hands and together, speak. everybody. He flattened that one out a little bit, 215 versus that first 205. So I expect something in the 80s again, kind of where he's grid. been. I mean, he at least makes Kyle look at something. 375. Yep. 375. 375. Seb on the board. Three seventy-five for Seth Swaddell, giving Kyle something to look at. And here we go, first three balls from Kyle Berkshire. The grid is clear. Fire away. See if you can add pressure to the young Aussie right away. Exactly what I was thinking. And he had enough heat on this one if it can stay in. And it is OB left. One down. Here we go. Ball number two. So the move he's doing, I recommend the people at home to practice with kind of just to feel the motion. Don't swing so hard, just so you're feeling the weight shift properly. If you want to create some speed, great shot right here. 223, 156, right side, low spin. See if he gets a bounce. 
75 it is did. the number to beat right Big now. One. Yeah. And I do believe he's got it. 394. Inching closer to yes. Smith. At 403. Sab will be looking up. And he returns to the grid. Yes. Barely missed that one left. But 394 on the board. And Seb Twadell. Looking for 395 or more. All right, Seb, the grid is clear. Close. Fire away. So what I've noticed with Seb right here is when he does the double clutch, watch how vertical the spine gets on the way back so he can't really level it out as much. See, up, very tall. He leveled wow. that one. Oh, it's the best leveling the of the shot I've seen. Love to see an apex. Way up there. And it got a pretty good bounce Close. Too. Oh, it's right on that number. Three, nine, three. Oh, a yard away. Yeah, remember they have that six inch rule. We'll have to see, but that doesn't look like it's within six inches, but that's amazing. Again, flatten it out. So that's been the miss. Wow. Every so single three, miss is high in the face. He's had a couple behind. flats. Three, Last chance, Seb Twaddell. Let's go, Seb! Ooh. And that will do it, Kyle Berkshire. Berkshire is going to move on by a single yard. I think it's less than a yard. Again, as long as it's more than six inches, I don't think they're going to get the tape out on it. But that was a very close match. What else frustrated? But a good showing for the young Aussie. There, just about half a yard yeah, you hear it half a yard Kyle, away, Art. Right, 18 inches the right there. That's so close. Finals are set. The rookie, Smith, longest of the day, gets to go off with one of the longest in the world. And he seems really cool. What a matchup this is going to be for the title in Kingsport. Back in Kingsport, the Bridgestone Golf Drive of the Day belongs to the 25-year-old, Jack Smith. Art, you were talking about the speed slot. He caught it. I'd love to see where this ball flew right here. I think he's the only one that got more than 10 yards a roll today. Yes, definitely he did. Actually got about 20, so he had a little slot down the sides. But awesome shot. 403 for Smith. Hit two balls in his semifinal matchup that went 400 yards. So after that impressive, impressive tee shot from Jack Smith gets him into the championship match, facing off with Kyle Berkshire. Should be a okay. great Let's battle right here. Kyle shooting for one in the match. world if he wins, $30,000. His first title of the Smith. year, big the match right clear. here. Jack will lead us off. See if he can put a little pressure on Kyle. And I just see no tension here. That's what I really love about Such the setup golf right here. Swing art. You've been bragging about this thing. Smoking one down left side to start. Golf balls just start pretty much online. That's what's cool. So he's matching path and face really nicely. World long drive so awesome. Amateur events, senior events, virtual events. I mean, women events, open events. They got so much going on at World Long Drive. Ooh, but a toey. Be close. See if you can get that hop. It's gonna be in the grid. Okay, 374 for Smith. Got a number to look at. A little too much on the toe right there, but not a bad start. Got one more shot here. I know he'd love to see something in the high 80s or 90 here. Put some pressure on Kyle. Looks like it'll miss That's left. That's going to be OB left. Put on the board. In his so 374, three. the number to catch for Berkshire. Four. Have three swings. And Kyle Berkshire, we're ready for you. The grid is clear. Fire away.
mentioned earlier, if I hit them the way I could hit them, nobody can catch me. Oh, like that. 225. Wow. That is colossal. 388. 388. 388 to take the lead. What a start, Art. Yeah, right down Main Street. 2,500 spin again. It probably hit it about 380. His 94 flew 90. So he's got the speed. One more here in the first half. Retire. One's out of bounds right. The amount of physicality it takes in this sport, how many warm up shots, and then how many sets to get to this point. I mean, it's incredible the beating the body is taking right here. Oh, 23, almost 160 on the club. So for Jack Ryan. Smith, three swings, got to catch 388. If not, it'll be the first title Smith. in 2023 for Kyle Berkshire. Let's see what Smith has. We know he's got 400 in the tank. Hit two over 400 in the last round. Get there. That was soft when it hit. 75. He's going to have to cross 220 on the ball speed to, okay. to get there where he was before. He was 224. I like how patient he is, though. I like how poised he is. His fourth event ever. You know, he teed that ball just a hair lower. I just noticed I was going to say something in his backswing. Just a hair lower. Maybe he gets run. Got some run. He's got a chance. 401. Yep. I'm telling you, he teed it lower, and he's got some roll. How about that for Jack Smith? Third ball over 400 yards. What a clinic, what a shot. I'm telling you, I'd love to see the replay on that, but he teed it just a hair lower, and he got some chase out of that golf ball. Don't know if he did it on purpose. Don't know if he knows what he's doing, but he's doing it. And Art, think about this if you're Jack Smith, the 25-year-old rookie took out Meyer and now has an opportunity to take out, take out Berkshire. And what a message that sends him that, hey, I belong. Watch this shot right here. Again, that ball is not above high above that crown like the others. And he got run. In two shots he's hit, he got the run. Here's That's Kyle going right up there. And he knows he needs over 400. Kyle's got to get to 401. That one out of bounds. Two swings left. Sometimes he hits it so fast, the old doesn't, doesn't even get it on the radar. Doesn't register. I'd like to see him really catch one and see what happens. Look how high he's teeing this ball. And it's going to come down to the final ball. And One swing left. For world number two. Got to go beyond 400. Come on. Come on. Let me hear you, baby. It's just the fourth left. event more for more Jack ball, Smith Ford. looking to take down two of the kings of long drive. See what Kyle can do. Guided. 210. What a victory. But look at that club speed. It was 166. He just didn't catch it. It's going to do it. Jack Smith's going to be your champion. What a victory. What a message he just sent. The long drive world. Two events away from the world championship. Welcome to the stage, Jack Smith. All right, we saw three balls of 400 yards or longer. He hit all three of them. Absolutely. Pure golf swing, just pure golf swing. Great technique. 401 gets it done. 403 to sneak in to the finals.
We got a new star in long drive. We'll be back to chat with the champion. When we return, there's the moment he realized it happened. That's the you first emotion he showed right there. He got pumped. Not on the <laughs> tee. He just beat Kyle win. Berkshire. What a performance by the youngster. That lasting two heavy hitters to take home the title here in Kingsport. Takes home $30,000 as well. Berkshire finishing runner-up with 15000 But this week belongs to Jack Smith. We'll throw it down to Alexis Belton. Okay, I have to say, med school versus long drive. You chose long drive. That was a great choice because you just won the Kingsport Tennessee Championship. You've got your family here. Can you talk to us about how you prepared for this event? You took down some heavy hitters. Oh, yeah, so all year I've been dealing with a forearm injury. Uh, fortunately, the last this past week, Went home, did some extra PT, uh, tried some new stuff, and it was the first time arm didn't hurt, so I was able to get a couple practice sessions in, which usually I've been just trying to figure it out the day of. But uh, it, to me, made all the difference here. You know, I struggled a little bit. Everybody struggles. Uh, but just fortunate enough to be able to pull through in the end. Great return to Kingsport for the World Long Drive Tour and Art. Excellent, excellent finish. Absolutely. Event number nine. Two events in the way now from the World Championship in Atlanta, and there is a new sheriff that's making his way in town, and Impressive that is Jack play. Smith. And as Art mentioned, October 22nd, the finals will be headed your way on Golf Channel. We'll be back to bring home some big tee shots. Excited for Atlanta.